I've never had a mint julep before. We're doing a mojito. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't, I, I can't remember what a mojito is, but if you're gonna make it and everything that starts to make it looks this good, I'm really excited. You've had them before. Okay. Out with the girls, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Come on. You have probably. to have had a mojito. Probably, but probably not the way you're gonna make it. And they probably served it to you in a glass like this, but all full of little floating bits of green oh. mint that you're on a date. Exactly. Excuse me. Yeah. It's yeah. Not good. Not good. Pizza salads, mojitos don't not first yeah. date material. Yeah, it's gonna be, be a crappy first date. It's Throw bad. in some garlic bread and you just call it a night. <laughs> you're going home alone. Yeah, you're going home alone. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. So we have. I've already quartered these these limes. I get half of a lime and then mm -hmm. cut it into four chunks and remove the woody yucky part in the middle. So you just want to grab. Oh, is that just for ease of squeeze? That's for ease of squeeze. <laughs> and the, the woody part is bitter. It's not going to do anything for the drink, so you leave it out. So right. you want four of those in your mixing glass there. What if I want five? Then you'd be doing it wrong. Ooh. Three. All right. Okay. Set it on down there. Two ounces of light rum. This is an ounce and a half. Okay. Now, I'm willing to go with the four in this, but in terms of exact measurement on the alcohol. That is an ounce. Well, your ounce. It's it's an ounce. It's I am scientifically calibrated. Oh, it's one of it's one of my many problems. Oh, am I pouring my own? Yes, ma'am. Oh, so well, this is what I was getting at. Is that you're trusting me to of course. measure it properly? Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. Backside. Three quarters of an ounce, all the way up to the top of simple syrup. Excellent. And what is simple syrup? One cup of sugar, one cup of water. Sweet. Simple, simple. Okay. So that's step one. Okay. We muddle these guys mm -hmm. to get the juice out of the limes and to get the oils out of the lime rinds all mixed in there nicely. This is a two-part muddle. The thing that a lot of people do is they muddle the mint and the lime at the same time. Okay. Why and is that that's okay? well it's too harsh on the mint. It shreds it up, it tastes bitter, it gets grassy. Oh. So you can kind of go to town with these guys to really get all of the oils out. Mm -hmm. And then once you think you've done that sufficiently this is very therapeutic, so if the drink doesn't take your stress away, the muddling will. Yeah, it gets better too. Oh, excellent. You want about uh, 10 of these good sized mint leaves. Okay. Just drop them right on in. Right, oh, okay. 41, 39. You're gonna lose track. 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> See, you did lose track, didn't you? Yes. I knew it was going to happen. Don't they smell great? Yes, they do. They smell amazing. Why does it look like I have way more than you? Because mine is wider and yours is narrower and just piles up a little higher. Okay. So now you want to muddle these guys with the rest of them, but... Gently? Gently. Lovingly? Gently, lovingly. I love my mojito. Yeah. I love my mojito. And you should be able to start smelling the mint mm. coming up. Wow, that smells so good. Yeah. Uh, one ice cube in there mm -hmm. to let it sit mm -hmm. while we crack some ice. Excellent. Crack ice. Cracked ice because if you just put ice cubes into this glass, you're going to get like four ice cubes in there. Right. With a lot of air around it and the drink is going to melt faster. If you crack some ice, it fills in all those little nooks and crannies. Oh. So here's the technique. Okay. Palm of the hand. Mm -hmm. Back of the bar spoon. Mm -hmm. Nice. One little smack and it just cracks into a few pieces like a ginger snap. I understand why. 
All right. How's that? That is awesome. Some of my chunks are a little bit bigger than yours. All right. So we are ready. Okay. You want to do two strains on this. You want to get your Hawthorne strainer on top like that. What's this called? Hawthorne strainer. Okay. And then this little mesh strainer. Oh, seriously? Wow. Yeah. That's to catch any little bits of mint that might sneak through. So your drink should be nice and clear. So I can take this and just go out on the road right now and try to find a date, is what you're saying. <laughs> this is a date-worthy mojito, absolutely. So no yuckies in it. Right. It also catches little bits of the uh, lime pulp. Oh, mm -hmm. you know? So it's a nice, smooth texture. We top it off with tonic water. Oh. Or if you are so inclined, you can use like a mineral water. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love tonic. Perrier or whatever, but yeah, tonic is nice. It's got a little bit of bitterness to it. I'm always disappointed that they have it on the gun in bars. It's, it's never, never as good as bottled. Never. Right. Right. We stir? Stir from the bottom to the top. You want to like pull the drink up from the bottom and push the bubbles down from the top like that. Final step. Okay. Grab a nice big chunky mint sprig like that mm -hmm. get rid of the bottom okay okay mm -hmm. grab your glass mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and abuse it <laughs> you know Alcohol why all in abuse okay <laughs> why smell mm. okay all around the glass and so when you stick your nose in it to drink it you okay. get that beautiful mint okay but that part's not going to help me on a date at all no Thank you. A date worthy mojito. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I can get. <laughs>